Hi everyone, today we're talking about McDonald's stock, which is a stock I've actually not talked about on this channel before and done a review into the stock and if I think it's a buy in 2019. But if it's your first time watching this channel, basically what happens is I kind of like just pick out a stock and I kind of just do like a five minute video doing a bit of a brief overview of the stock, go through a couple of the fundamentals of the company and then talk about if I believe the stock is a good time to purchase it and if you should buy it in 2019. Um, like I say, I've never really talked about McDonald's. I think the closest I've ever really talked about on the channel is that I think it brought earnings out once, which were not great, and the stock dipped slightly because of it. And I talked about it like as a bit of a news thing that McDonald's has gone down, and that's the closest I've had to talk about it. But I've never actually done a video just dedicated to the McDonald's stock. Um, and normally, at the start of the video, I kind of explain what the company is, but with McDonald's, I don't think I need to really. It is one of the biggest, well, well-known uh, companies out there, which is a great thing to be investing into a stock which is such a well-known company in that sector. So it is a major leading brand out there in that sector that it's in. At the moment, McDonald's stock is about $188 right now as recording this video. The P is 24, which is kind of a little bit high. Um, normally with a stock like this, when I talk about it in just a little bit and why I believe it's a little bit high, um, normally stock like this, I'd like it to be low 20 uh, and obviously it is above 20 right now so um, that's obviously a little bit of a red sign right there. The dividend yield isn't too bad, it's around about a 2.46% yield which isn't too bad. Um, when we look at the growth side of it, obviously you probably would like that to be a little bit higher than what it is um, and I am going to say this right now before I go through the other fundamentals of the company. Uh, the dividend side of it could be slightly at risk going forward for McDonald's based on that it's got a lot of debt at the moment and when you've got a lot of debt and you're paying a lot of money out to shareholders it would be the smart thing to hold off that dividend or just bring it down slightly to pay off some of the uh, debt. That's what a good sensible company would do um, and McDonald's isn't doing that right now. It's something they could do um, but um, it's something to be cautious of compared to other stocks where I've talked about what I invest in where companies are paying uh, a dividend which they can afford to pay out that's always one big thing you know you look at companies that are having to cut the dividend because they can't afford to pay it out and McDonald's could kind of slowly be getting into that category so that's something to be careful of and um, the EPS side of it the EPS is growing at 8.26% which looks pretty good and um, the reason why it looks so good is that at the moment um, uh, you might have known this personally I have I actually got to McDonald's like probably a couple of times uh, every month and you might have noticed over the last kind of year the prices have gone up quite a bit um, and because of the prices going up it's also doing a quite a bit of a uh, heavy buyback uh, program of its shares right now so that EPS looks a lot healthier than what um, it actually is um, so it's a little bit of a you know a lot of companies are out there doing it but that's something just be careful of um, and then you look at the sales the sales is currently forecast to grow at 1.91% which obviously isn't amazing you know, I only try to get into companies that have double digit growth. Sometimes there's a few exceptions that are a little bit lo below it. Um, but yeah, for me, uh, the sales isn't amazing. So McDonald's itself, you know, it's a great company to invest in. Um, the main things that I'd be worried at is, you know, at the moment it is facing a lot of challenges. Over the last few years, we know McDonald's has struggled to keep that revenue up right now. There's a lot more competition out there. There's a lot of uh, pressure on healthy eating in a lot of uh, major co uh, major countries right now um, trying to go for the healthier option um, and, and the competition as well. Um, the shares itself, you know, it's not too bad of a price. Like I said, the P is a little bit scary for me. Um, the dividend, when you get into a stock like this and the, the potential for that dividend to get cut, that's always a little bit of a worrying sign. Um, the EPS side of it is, is pretty good, but um, just be careful what I said earlier. Um, the sales, obviously, it's been on the decline for so long and it looks like McDonald's might have the potential to just kind of stop that revenue from dropping at the moment uh, by the revenue going up. We'll have to see. Um, it'd be good if they can turn that around slightly, but for me, there is a lot of debt on that balance sheet that they could do with sorting out as well at some point, um, which is always worrying when you're looking at a company. Um, so kind of overall, my opinion on McDonald's stock, um, in my opinion, it's not a stock I would invest in. Um, I don't really like the balance sheet. I don't like the dividend can potentially um, be at risk. The P is very high for me, uh, and the sales. Uh, I won't get in the company just for the sales growth alone. Um, you know, uh, if McDonald's was to have 
a, a big massive decline then I might consider it right now but it's not a stock I would recommend as a buy it's not a stock that I want to get into I think there's a lot of better companies out there right now um, so for me I'm not investing in McDonald's I don't recommend McDonald's stock as a buy um, some of you guys might that's fine it's your opinion um, I might if there was a big massive dip then I might make a video seeing if my opinion had changed but if I'm honest um, the dip would have to be like like a 30% dip 40% dip before I, I would consider then getting into the stock because of the sales growth side of it um, overall but yeah that's my video talking about McDonald's stock today having a little bit of a look in the fundamentals and give my opinion on the stock overall uh, I hope that video helped you if you are considering McDonald's stock uh, or if you just wanted some information on McDonald's stock um, or just wanted to hear my opinion on it um, that's the video for today guys so thank you for watching uh, thank you for our spot recently we're nearly at 210 subscribers which is super so thank you for that and I'll see you in the next video